generations. And now, the power of two restores the one. We got a bidet! Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video we got something exciting for you. We got the latest Culture Fly box. It is the um, Galaxy Box. The Star Wars edition of the um, quote-unquote mystery boxes. They give a lot of spoilers throughout the in-between time. But there's definitely a lot of things in here I don't remember. Maybe one thing that I do. So uh, we're going to go ahead we're going to show you what's in this quarter's box. Um, Sarah, maybe you can show the box and I'll tell them what this box is. So if you subscribe to the box, it is quarterly. Some of them, I don't know, maybe some of them are monthly, but I think most of their boxes are quarterly. This box in particular, I believe it was about $50 a box-ish. Like if you pay for the full year up front, they give you a little bit of a discount. If you don't do it that way, I believe it's around $60 a box. Uh, so if you are committed to it, it's a little bit cheaper for you. Um, all the items in the box are exclusive to the box. So anything that you see at a show, you cannot go to like Target, Hot Topic, Box Lunch, any of those places to go get these. It'll all be from third party. So we're ready to take a look. Let's see what we got. All right, so... Covering the card. This is uh, the little card they give you that says what all is in there. I'm covering the back so we can't see. We'll take a look at that at the end. Just in case we don't know what something officially is. First things first. A pair of socks. Are they long? Are they ankle? They are crew socks. They got the little emblem on there. It's kind of weird. It's not printed on. It's like embroidered on. Uh, or like a like a patch sewn on, if you will. It's the same thing on both socks. And it's got kind of a, an ombre effect of red to black. Are they thick? Um, I feel like they're like normal dress socks in terms of thickness. Yeah, they're not too bad. Yeah, the, the patch is a little weird. I don't know, I've never had patches like that on my socks, but um, they're definitely my kind of socks as opposed to Sarah. So I'll probably end up trying them out. Or we'll find somebody that would rather than us. All right, what's next? Let's see, let's see, it's a big old box right there. I'm gonna take this one. It's the pin set. So we Boy, got man, one of those is creepy. Yeah, we got three pins in this pin set. We got the Emperor Vader and Kylo Ren. It's kind of interesting that those are all the ones that they picked. It does say. They are glow in the dark, so that's really neat. Um, they are, they're they're titled the dark side. So these are the three characters that they picked to represent the dark side for their pins. But yeah, usually you only get one pin, and they're usually pretty big. So maybe that's why we got three because these are relatively small compared to the past ones. Trying to get out whatever the giant box is without looking at what else is in here. Oh, I remember that. Oh, okay, so That's we have <laughs> a magnetic desk organizer. So, little quick story. I did not join Culture Fly, like the Star Wars box, until after the first one, so I missed the Mandalorian box. And in the Mandalorian box, they had something very similar, similar to this, where it was Grogu instead. I'm very happy that they decided to go with a Darth Vader version of it, because his force choke is magnetic. So it's supposed to hold your... Um, like your uh, paper clips and stuff. Oh, Sarah's opening it right away. Oh, since I know we're gonna keep it, we may as well open it. Okay, that one's a definite keep. It's going right on my desk. I'm curious to see what it looks oh, like compared phone. to just a picture. I hate phone. Can you not pull it out without the phone? I don't know. 
Foam to me is like sand to Anakin. Here you go. All right. It's got some nice weight to it. There we go. We got that Ooh. Darth Vader with the force choke that's supposed to be magnetic. We got a pen right here. Let's see if it'll hold a pen. I don't know that that's a magnetic pen. It's not. It's not pulling at all. We need something magnetic. We better not have been duped. Let's see. Let's see. Good. Kind of. It's it's not a very strong magnet, per se. So definitely going to want to use it for things like paper clips as opposed to... I, I really don't know why I'd want a pen there. Maybe I could put a lightsaber pen in there. But still, there is the, the back side of it for pens and pencils and what have you. So, uh, it is magnetized, just a little weak. All right, he holds on to a couple of paper clippies. So, looks great. All right, all right. What is next? Let's go with this. All right, so this is the Dark Side Journal uh, that has Darth Maul. It's kind of hard to see because it's in the package, um, but it is Darth Maul on the cover. The band that holds the book together is his lightsaber, so that's really cool. And what I remember is on the inside, there's some really cool artwork um, of Darth Maul as well. So I'm not huge on journals, but it is really cool. I appreciate that the notebook is so thick because I feel like a lot of times when you get notebooks in these types of mystery boxes, they're not super large. What is that? This is a art print. Oh. Stormtroopers sworn at protectors of the Galactic Empire. The last one that we got from this box, which was the AT-ATs on Hoth, we put that on our fridge, so maybe this one will go on the fridge. I like this one a lot better. It just it seems uh, more like an actual advertisement or like propaganda type piece. I don't know. It's just, it's interesting. Yeah. It seems more like an actual art piece I would want to hang. All right. I think this, oh, um, yeah, that's just a packet. I think this is the last item. Yes. The last item is the clothing item. So you're supposed to get one clothing item per box. It could be a shirt, it could be a windbreaker, it could be a sweatshirt, whatever. And this one is a windbreaker, I believe. Yeah, there's usually some form of a top and, and it, then potentially an accessory, which is what the socks were. It is awesome. So there's the front, the imperial symbol there. On the back, we got Darth Vader. And then there's even some stuff on the inside. But we can see the pattern on the inside, the Darth Vader there with the stormtroopers. So I think this is really cool. Uh, I hope it fits me really well. And I'm going to rock it for sure. One of the cool things about these boxes is that the inside is also usually themed. So you can see, aside from it just saying Star Wars, there's actual like a Star Wars print all the way along the inside. Okay, so a moment of truth. Do we think the box is worth $50 this time around? Or if you do it, you know, by quarter where you pay a little bit more, let's say $60, would it be worth it? We got everything that's on the card? We do. All right, so there was six items. We identified them all properly, thank goodness. I would say the jacket is probably at least 30 bucks. The journal is really nice. I say that's at least 10 to 15. The desk piece here with the Vader, really cool. I could easily see Box Lunch selling something like that for like 20 to 25 bucks. The socks, they're probably at least five or six bucks. And the, per the pins here, that's gotta be somewhere around 15, five bucks a piece, very easy. And then the print, that's a thick print. Yeah, it's a nice quality print. You know what I just realized, according to this paper, is that's not a windbreaker, and it's not a rain jacket. It is a lined coach's jacket. Yeah, coaches, like, 
think about the 90s and stuff, and maybe even today's day, I don't know, but I think more of the 90s. Coaches for like baseball and football and all that wore this type of jacket a lot, so that's probably where that's coming from. That's where I saw it a lot anyways. So, would I say it's worth it? Yeah, I forgot all the numbers already that I said, but that's got to be up there for the value. So, uh, Now it's up to you. If you want to go ahead and join the Culture Fly box, it is fun. You get things that you like, you get some things that you don't like. Uh, the ones that you don't, sell it. That way you get a little bit of a discount. I would say most of the time there's enough items we want to keep yep. that makes the box worth it. And anything we don't want to keep and we end up selling, it's kind of like the gravy on top. Yeah. So, uh, that is this quarter's Star Wars Galaxy box. It is the dark side theme, so I'm pretty sure this is gone and passed. I don't think you can get it anymore. I don't know. Check the website. I haven't. Um, but they should be revealing the next one sometime very soon. So in about three months, we should have another video for you. If you enjoyed this type of video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. That way you are notified when the next one drops. Drops a like if you like the video and drops a comment letting us know what you thought about the product. Do any of them excite you? Um, I know I was excited just from seeing that it was going to be dark side theme. I think last time was Jedi themed and I was kind of eh. Team Empire, but then I saw this and I was like, yes, at least they have something for me too. And then as always, everybody, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.